Hey ladies, so just a couple quick tips on following up with people. So when someone purchases from you, what I like to do is obviously I thank them, I tag them in my group, and then I um, send them a message with like a PM uh, with a beauty tip based on whatever product they ordered. So, you know, if it's the brow liner or something like that, I'll even send them if I already have a video that I've saved on YouTube, I'll send them my video showing them just how to apply it. Um, if it's the primer, you know, I'll just say, oh, hey, you know what, just a little pea size goes a long way, covers your whole face. Just, you know, let it sit on your skin for about a minute before applying your foundation. Um, so that's something I always do. And then when their product ships, then I'll message them and I'll say, oh, hey, um, so exciting. I just saw that your, um, you know, makeup is scheduled to arrive on Tuesday. You know, can't wait till you can try it. Um, something like that. Then also once they receive their makeup, you know, I follow up within that 14 day love it guarantee window. So usually if I know it's shipped on a Tuesday, on Friday is when I will check in with them asking them, hey, how are you loving your BB cream? Um, or whatever the product is so that I want to make sure that they're happy. If it's the wrong color, this way we could get an exchange for them uh, within that love it guarantee window. And then that's the perfect opportunity for you to share the opportunity or to share, um, you know, having a beauty bash for that person. So the Marty Mealing series, the, the questioning series, you got to watch that. I posted that um, in our team page. And she also posted, there's also one in Lash Queens about um, following up where you can say, hey, on a scale of 1 to 10, how interested would you be in making some extra money by sharing these products? So that's, you know, another opening that you can use to then transition into the opportunity. Um, and also... What was I going to say about following up? Um, it, it's so it's so important because you want to make sure that your customers are happy, and also you want to um, keep in touch with them. You know, even not just for for selling purposes. And you know, Victoria, we've been posting about this as well, where that initial touch when you're messaging somebody, "Hey, I saw you just went to the museum with your kids. How was it? You know, I'm thinking of doing something with my family. You know, something you know, real and relatable, obviously." Um, but just kind of keeping that communication open and sometimes, you know, let's say if it's a month or two down the road, they might even bring up the makeup on their own. So if you're message they, messaging them, hey, uh, I saw you guys went to wherever for Valentine's Day. How was that restaurant? Ending with a question, you know, they're likely to respond to that rather than only when you're messaging them, you know, about unique. So leading with, you know, being a friend first, basically, um, and then, you know, bringing up the makeup that way. I thought it was a helpful tip. And with your beauty group, so if somebody comments, um, oh, how much is the the eye palette or whatever it is, um, instead of just being like, $49, here's my link, you know, I'll be like, oh, um, the eye palettes are beautiful, you know, you would love them, let me send you a PM. When I message them, I don't even mention the makeup first. I will look at their profile, see what's going on in their life, strike up a conversation um, that way and say, oh, it looks like you guys had so much fun for the Super Bowl. I love the pictures of your kids in their jerseys, whatever. Little conversation. Then I bring up, you know, the palette. So then I'll say, oh, so what colors do you like to wear? You know, do you like neutrals? Do you like a bold eye? Whatever it is. So this way I can then recommend, would it be okay if I sent you, you know, a picture um, of the different color options? Sure. And this way I could, you know, recommend a color for them so it's specific and it's not just like, diving in to get the sale, um, you're more likely to upsell that way. Oh, do you have brushes to apply it with? No, I don't. Oh, I recommend the Deluxe Brush and the Crease Brush. Um, um, what do you wear, what do you typically like to wear on your lips? So by asking questions, you know, you could upsell them, especially we have the free shipping right now over $50, so it's kind of like you want to, you know, see what else they would like so that they can get the free shipping. Um, so I hope those tips help you. Um, feel free to comment or message me any questions that you have. 